on. We're supposed to be serious here. Welcome, Welcome to, to Compound, Compound TV. TV. Hey, welcome to Compound TV. Me and uh, Safety Daytona here got something special for you. Okay, so what we're doing, we've got 10 aluminum plates and we're gonna do a penetration test. We're gonna see what goes through all of them. Don't have very high hopes for them because it's aluminum. Over here, we kinda wanna do a stainless versus aluminum test. So these are all stainless steel. They're a little thinner, but I still think they're gonna do better. And then, uh, at the end here, we might have a little uh, Tannerite surprise for you. So let's get to doing this. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start small and work our way up. First, 22 long rifle out of this Heritage Arms. 22. Okay, so we got these bottles here. It's going to represent if someone was standing behind this. Really, we just want to see uh, what will happen if one goes through if it has enough to go into something um, but I don't know what's uh, gonna happen to these bottles but from previous episodes It's not going to go well for that. Alright, first thing we're going to shoot is those uh, aluminum plates. we got 10 of them, and then we're going to do the five stainless steel plates. Oh, Tiny, oh, come here. Oh, I never realized, like, the first time you seen her, when she wasn't that cute, but now look at her. Look I, at I, her. Her. I told you. Look at her. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, so unexpected, it made it through one. But yeah, it just kind of tinged the next one. I didn't think it'd make it. Oh, here's here's the bullet. Oh wow, flattened it perfectly. Look at that. That's pretty. <laughs> it's got aluminum on it. Huh. That's pretty cool. Okay, next thing, 22 stainless steel plates. Okay, so that stainless steel does a lot better. These are thinner plates, actually. And it still didn't go through. Didn't go through one of them. Okay, so next we're gonna shoot both of these with the nine millimeter. But I just kinda wanted to show off my Glock 19X. Um, I've done a lot of work to it. I bought it just, you know, stock gun. But uh, I slapped a new trigger in it, extended controls, new threaded barrel, uh, custom back plate, custom magazine uh, base plate. I just really like it and I just wanted to show it off. So, yeah, we went through two, did it the third. We went to 9mm uh, because I thought it would be a fatter round and have less of a chance of a small fast than a small fast round going through it. Uh, so we just found, well we found this first thinking it was a piece of a bullet. It's not, it's super light. That's aluminum, that's a chunk it took out. Here's the bullet and it's still super hot, so that's pretty cool. Same gun, same caliber, stainless steel. So it went through one, then of the second, it tore that up though. Okay, so what we're doing next is we're going to use the same Heritage Arms 22, but it takes a 22 mag cylinder. So we're going to throw a 22 mag at it. Who wanted to come here? Okay, so we're going to pop this cylinder out, throw the 22 mag in. Ready to go.
I'll be honest, I had higher hopes than that. Went through one and really bulged the second. All right, stainless steel, 22 mag. Did not go through. Bulged it more than 22, 22 mag, 22. Okay, everybody place your bets. You're saying it's gonna go? I'm saying it's going through four, bouncing off five. 357 I'm, mag. I'm saying going through three and bouncing off four. Tinker! Tinker! This is Tinker, guys. She is a very, very old dog that they've had on the compound for how long now? I couldn't tell you how many years. Is it since, since I was probably six or eight, something like that? And you're 21 and I'm now. 21, so, yeah. So, yeah, she's, she's pretty old. She's still alive. She's still kicking. She goes out hunting with us all the time. All right, next up is the Ruger Blackhawk chambered in. 357 Magnum. That's Sheila. It's not Sheila. We got a name. I haven't the named her yet. They're the twins. They got a name one Sheila and one like Donna or something like that. We swapped out the plates. We got a couple of clean plates in there now. So we're gonna see how far this goes. So we're all wrong. We went through one. And there's a bulge. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Is that the bulge? Well, that... it expanded like crazy. Oh, wow. That's why. All right. 357 versus those stainless steel plates. All right. We uh, went through one. Really bent the second, but didn't go through. So, next thing we got is 223, and we're going to shoot it out of my AR pistol. There's a 223 AR pistol. Hey, Tiny! Got to stay warm out here on the compound. So I was trying to aim low to save room for other ones. I didn't mean to hit that low and I didn't squat down. So it went at an angle and it didn't hit all the plates. It carved up the, the base. So we're gonna shoot again. Alrighty. Ready. I still hit low. One more roll. Okay, so that was the first one. And went ahead and put two in it because I didn't know if I aimed too low on that one too. Right here. Yeah, but you have to explain that they went through different amounts. Yeah, this one went through one, two, three, four, five, stopped on six. Okay, so the dead center one went through five, stopped on six. No, that was the, that was the bottom the one, bottom the low one. one. Okay, stopped so on four, six. Stopped on five. The one in the middle stopped on five, but it really wanted to go through. All right, 223, stainless steel. Down. Yeah. Here, here, big hole started expanding. Stopped right here, this is the bullet. We haven't made it through yet. So we just shot the 223. That's your 223. We're getting ready to shoot my AK-47 762 by 39. So that's your comparison. A bit bigger. All right, AK-47 762 by 39. That's it. Through, 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 through. Big hole stopped. It's eight out of nine. We stopped on the eight. Eight out of nine. 
And we got the bullet again. Awesome. AK-47, stainless steel plates. Right here. Through it. Big hole. Bigger hole. Stopped on the last plate. Look it, at uh, this. Look. Yeah, it, it almost cracked, it cracked the it bottle. Did. It cracked it because it hit it so hard. Yeah, it cracked the bottle. All right, we're down to the last gun that I brought. It's our last hope, and it's the Mosin Nagant. What are you talking about, last hope? Turn around, cat. It's the last hope of my gun. Anyway, 762 by 54R. That's a big bullet, and I think it's gonna go through. Mosin Nagant, 762 by 54R. Kick his butt! Right here, through all of these, stopped on the back plate. That is just the jacket. Okay. All right, Mosin the Gaunt, stainless steel. I ate right through it. Right here, 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 right there, and out the back. So, 50 BMG. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but uh, whenever you're ready there, safety. Yeah. Big hit. Okay, so that's the that's the 50 BMG. Then it goes to that one. Through this one somewhere, because here it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, he's getting sick. We're losing some lead off of yeah. it. Yeah. Big hole. It really shreds the stainless. It's getting smaller. We have a piece of it. Oh man. No, that might be. We caught no a 50 way. BMG. We caught a 50 BMG. We added all the other plates, so I don't know if that's a fair. Well, I mean, still, it had to go through. <laughs> We're going to have to get these apart. Look, it went into this one. It was in four plates, five plates at a time. Oh my It was goodness. in this one, this one, this one, and these two all at once. Did it bulge your back off? Yeah. No, the tip went through. The tip went through. The tip went through. So that's just jacket. No, no yeah, this is jacket. So Look, the, it's hollow. The jacket stayed behind. Yeah. 50 wow. BMG. Wow. Okay, so we've got Tannerite set up down there. It's in a microwave. We've got two pumpkins on top of it. We're gonna take a shot. Dad's gonna take a shot with his uh, 223. Yeah, four pounds of Tannerite. Four pounds. All right, so we ran down there because he shot it, he hit it, and it didn't you know, make the big boom four pounds is supposed to make. So we'll get down there, go check and see what will happen. We put it in the laundry detergent bottle and he only hit the handle part and it didn't set off all the rest of it. So he's gonna take another shot. 